previously on The Walking Dead. Who do you think did this? Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? What's the most important thing in this world? Clem, it's family. People like Matthew aren't coming back. Rebecca! Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety! Ah! Go to hell, you f- We're going home. As a family. What's up guys, it's Kira here. Welcome to another Let's Play of The Walking Dead Season 2. And we're in Chapter 3 now. Damn it, we got Alan killed. Freaking regret. Poke. Oh, okay. Bye. You got done over there? Yeah, one second. Thanks for coming with me. It's scary out here. I know they made you. It's still nice that you came. We're friends. Friends look out for one another. Gotta keep we that are, promise. Aren't we? Well, if you need to pee, let me know. I'll keep look out for you, too. Uh, okay. What, do we drive a car? Everything come out all right, girls? Troy, Perfect. get them tied up. Will do. Well, we're on our way. Probably 30 minutes out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carver out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. Nope. Froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Has anyone ever taught you that? Where's your manners? Gonna be rude as him as possible. No, stop! God don't damn it! Hit my friend. You don't want to test me, girl. I'll pass every time. Leave her alone. Tie her up and throw her in with the rest of them. Freaking, I would refuse that. Are you guys okay? The hell did he do to you? Hey! Did he hurt you? Hey! Hey! Alrighty. Not talking much because I'm like paying it attention deeply into this freaking what's going on. Kenny, he slapped me in the face. Okay, so this is gonna be interesting. Alright, we gotta do something. Come on. Anyone got anything sharp? Anything? We need to get these bindings off. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. And what good is that gonna do? The hell is wrong with you people? We gotta get out of here. Like what? What do you mean, like what? Something sharp. Anything that can help. A, a fucking. I don't know. Anything! We're in a fucking precarious position here. We gotta do something about Settle that. Settle down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? Oh, I see what it is. 
Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. Say that again. I'd stay out of this, boy. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, right. You're a man. You don't understand. He's different. It's worse. The fuck are you talking about? He wants to punish us. Is he... is he gonna kill us? I, I don't think so. He ain't gonna get the fucking chance. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lodge. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. I'm trying to help! I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. Like you helped Alvin? That's not fair! You're blaming him for the actions of a madman! I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny! You can't reason with him. Oh shit. Jackpot! Sit down. You're going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs, it's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? We've all been prisoners. Why do you think we left? Kenny's right. We have to do something. We can't just sit here. How is it the kid is the only one that sees what you're <laughs> I have to go with Kenny. Is that what this is? All right. Now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> There, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. At this point, maybe Luke is the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Who knows what he's dealing with? Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. You don't know that. I know he ain't here. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just leave us behind. That guy's a flake. I could tell the second I set eyes on him. Kenny, please calm down, please. I'm calm, Sarita. I look angry to you. Luke will help us. Oh, yeah? When? After that crazy fucks killed us all? Hey, look, Clem. We're close. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. Just sit down. Shut up, Doc. This ain't your call. Hey, just, if something happens, just help out, okay? Don't, you know, get yourself hurt or nothing, but any help would be good. Hey, Clem, look at me. You trust me, right? Kenny, please, just, just listen to them. They know him, what he's capable of. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna stick with, I know it's a stupid idea, but I'm gonna stick with, uh, Kenny. I'm a little scared, but we gotta do this. I wanna be on Kenny's side. Through the whole thing the same way as Lee did. Uh, Kenny, are you okay? Is he okay? I think so. Oh, what hit me? It's probably for the best. Fucking backed into the door. <laughs> Slammed the brakes. Kenny smashed his face against the door. All right, up and at him. The fuck? How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. We've got some familiar faces back with us tonight. Now, I understand some of you are confused as to why we'd bring these people back when they left us. <sighs> All right. It might not come all at once, but time will heal these wounds. So be patient with them until it does. We take solace in knowing that they're here to help us make our home better place. All these feelings you have of anger, betrayal, hate, they're all valid. No one needs to forget what they did, but we do have to find it in our hearts <clears throat> to give them. Look how much food they have. Oh, I hope you ain't saying what I think you're saying. As many of you already know, a large herd of lurkers gathers just south of us. Come on, we need you for something. Can it wait until morning? We're all exhausted. Just come the fuck on. Giggity. I need him. I need my dad. I, I can't. He's... He looks after me. They have been taken into consideration. However, this is not up for debate. Let's get going. He'll be back. When? 
I don't know, but he will come back. Thanks, Clem. And with the added manpower joining us this evening, I have no doubt that we will continue... Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Bill can see no if you're messing with it. Just to survive. It's our obligation. <sighs> so that's his, like, office. Because that's where all offices are. Thanks, Barney. Yep. To provide a light. A bright light. Bright enough to shine in all this darkness. So that's <clears throat> what we'll do. Y'all best get some rest. Because there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold. But at least I'll be comfortable. Hey, guys. Reggie! <gasps> He's missing an arm. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What did they do to you? Oh, this could have been worse, trust me. They cut off his arm? It's my fault. No, it's really not. I would tell you if it was. This happened well after you guys left. I guess I should say Reggie I helped us you, but... when we ran away. Uh, Why didn't he go with you guys when you left? I think maybe he was supposed to, but then he fell, and everybody kept running. I know he had both his arms then. They got me working outside. Lurker snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's awful. Okay, so he was so bitten. Sorry. Look, it was my choice to help you guys. Hey, Ridge. Oh, hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. <laughs> okay. Radio. Oh, right. Let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey. Uh. Hello. Who are you? This freaks you out. <laughs> it's okay. It freaks me out too sometimes. My name's Clementine. <laughs> It's very nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? Pete's gone. Got bit in the leg. Can you guys save it for the morning? Some of us gotta be up early. Who's that? I don't know. I don't recognize the voice. No problem. Sorry about that. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired, but like I said, he saved my life, so I put up with that shit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group, so I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. I know. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. Who's she? Hmm? Who? The girl over there? Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking around outside the camp covered in guts and just like the grossest shit. It's probably best not to stare. I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. They've even got the solar panels working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's not a competition. <laughs> it's not as bad as you think. We're doing oh. great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. Look, I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. I know that, but I'm starting to see what this place offers. I didn't before, and with the accident, it's just that much more important now. Carver killed my friend Walter. Okay, I, I don't know what happened, but maybe he had his reasons. He killed Alvin, too. 
Listen. My fault. My bad. Should have stopped Kenny. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least until they release me. Then, once I'm out, I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. I'm going to be quiet for this one. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Don't want to upset him and have him not help us out at later, later down the track. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Reggie, I don't want a second chance. After what he did to Alvin, I want him dead. I need to sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. You have this water over by the benches. Ah, oh, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. It's just you, me, and Kenny. Fuck that guy. I don't think we can trust him. I mean, clearly he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I think he's just scared. Everybody's scared. Ain't an excuse to sound like a nutcase. You gotta take a look around. We gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. Gonna have to wriggle our way out. Sure, I'll have a look around. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. Alright, gonna be sneaky. Sun. Walker just snuck up on you, huh? Sneaky. Let's talk to Mike. Hello? Get lost. Will you please talk to me? No. Get out of here. I just Go need... away. I can't either, honestly. Okay, so he doesn't want to talk. A fish statue. Radio. What about this one? Death stare. I saw a fella try that a few months ago. Stand it up, bleeding out. So what we all get beds? Yes, it's better than the ground. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Clown. Nick? Just thinking about Luke. Just... There's no way he's gone. That he left. How about it? Uh... I've known him for damn near 20 years now, and I can't buy it. Of course, I can't say a thought never crossed my mind. Things change. Whole damn world change. I think you're right. He'd never leave you guys behind. Us guys, you mean? Yeah, us guys. <sighs> Guess I'll try and get some sleep. You should too. We're gonna ride our asses tomorrow for sure. Okay. Night. Good night. I should really get out ahead of this. What's in the shelves? Hmm. Looks rickety. Do do do. Freaking. Let's ask Sarah. If she has anything on her. I'm trying to be good. What? Reggie asked me to be good, so I'm being good. I don't want him to get in trouble. I'll talk to you later. Ooh. I didn't treat him very well these last few weeks. Things got so complicated so fast. It became all about getting through each day. I'm trying real hard to remember the last time I told him that I loved him. I've been racking my brain, but I just can't remember. I'm sure he knows. In his heart, I'm sure he knows. Comfort her. I hope that's true. All right, get going. I'll be fine. I appreciate you checking up on me. Um, soil. Kind of crappy. <laughs> Fence gap. Hello. Nothing interesting. Mm. 
Hey, Clem, come on. Don't be like that. She ain't doing nothing wrong, Reggie. Just relax. How can I relax when she's walking around touching everything? Kids. Kids touch everything. Ooh. There's a ladder. It's a broken ladder. Barbed wire fence, don't need to mention that. And a rope. Radio. Eh? What's this? Horse reel. Mm hmm. Easy. Clementine, please. I asked really nicely. I don't want hey, to. What the hell is she doing? No, uh, nothing. <laughs> you know, kids. They love not listening. You had one job, Reggie. This is real disappointing. You're gonna have to tell Bill about this. Please, come on. Hey, don't be like that, man. You shut your fucking mouth. I don't know you. I don't know you. <clears throat> oh, you all fucked up now. Bill's gonna hear about this shit. Troy, please. Fuck you, Reggie. This is setting you back a few. Get comfortable, asshole. He was trying to help. She's just a kid. No one's talking to you, Indian lady. Hey! It's fine. I am Indian. <laughs> Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? It's your decision. I'm ready. Of course I am. Good, good. Confidence is good. You gotta have the Well, we have to get out anyway, so... I'm gonna have to be on Kenny's side for this. Hello, Fletcher, don't kick me. I'm just gonna play the steering game. Get up. Bill's gonna have a word. No. I don't wanna. Alright guys, I actually have to leave it there. i got to go out to the movies with my girlfriend. But um, if you guys enjoy this episode, please click like and subscribe if you guys want to watch more. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya!